Okay, so now that we've created a PayPal Buy Now button and we've added it to our website so that people can buy things from us, let's take a look at changing the settings for that button in case you want to change things like the overall price, the amount of tax you're going to charge, any shipping amounts, things like that. And when you come into your account, you want to go to Merchant Services tab. And here on the right side, you'll find a link called My Saved Buttons. So if we go in here, you'll see a list of the PayPal buttons you've created. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Action. And then you can do a couple of things. You can view the code. You can get that code that you use to paste into your website. You can create a similar button. It'll give you all of the exact same settings. And then you can just tweak a couple of things if you have similar products. You can delete this button. You can create a brand new button. Or you can just edit the button. And when you click Edit button, it'll take you back to the exact same setup screen that you had when you first created the button. And it just allows you to change things like the price. If I want to make this $500, I can do that, save the changes, and then you don't actually have to cut and paste that code into your website anymore. It's all done on the back end, so when somebody clicks that button, now instead of paying $197 for this course, they'll pay $500 for the course. And it's really that simple.